Estamos en Bay Stefan. Tenemos el gusto de hablar con el Head Master Tobias Solo. Thank you for receiving us and please talk about this beautiful and the most antique in the world. Yeah, welcome to the world's oldest brewery here in Bay Stefan on the, on the hill. So this is here in the heart of the brewer, brewery, the brew house. So um, we do it very traditional Bavarian with decoction. So we have a, a mesh tun and a mesh kettle for the decoctions, uh, brews of all our, mainly all our brews. We are very well known for our wheat beers, but we also have now a big range of lager beers, so that's why um, we do it in the same way and want to have a better taste with this decoction system. Our Lototan is here, over there, and the red kettle, of course. So, what is special here in Bavaria, we have, uh, when you can see it here on the wall, so we are brewing to, uh, according to the Reinheitsgebot, it's the uh, German purity law. These are the four ingredients we are allowed to use. Um, especially as everything is 100% from Bavaria, so very regional. Um, we are very, we have good raw materials here in this region, so that's why we use it, of course. So the barley and the wheat from, the, from Bavaria. The hops from the Hallertau, which is starting right behind the brewery in the, um, where it's still the world's largest um, hop area. Water from the city of Rising and our special yeast stored next door in the Technical University of Munich. So there we have our, our yeast stored and then we get fresh cells propagated on our own in the brewery. And then we have always fresh, powerful yeast. In the brew house so we have uh, 300 hectoliters per brew and we can do a brew every three hours. And we are three shift from Sunday evening to Friday or Saturday, depends on the season. Yeah, we try to, that's why we are, also we are very good educated here, because we have the technical university where you can study all the brewers around the world are going to Wein Stefan. Uh, it's a little bit considered as the Harvard of the brewing um, schools. So that's why a lot of brewers are educated here and that's why we, we also transfer the knowledge we have the tradition where we come from. We want to keep this tradition, and uh, of course, we are the oldest brewery, but with the modernest or newest equipment. Because, um, yeah, of course, um, hygienic design and, and food safety is key, and uh, success is based on the quality, and that's why we need the best equipment for that. So we're here in a historical place. Uh, this was this is the old building where the monastery was founded in 725. St. Corbinian came over from Rome and set up a monastery here and then they cultivated hops and later they uh, also brewed beer. So it's um, 1040, they, they gave the license um, to the brewery to sell beer here. So that's why we consider this as the start point of the brewery more or less, but we think they brewed beer before. What should they do with hops otherwise? Um, this is not, of course, not the original building. It's burned down several times, but it was rebuilt and this was the old monastery and uh, the whole building. Half of them is a brewery and the other half is Technical University of Munich. So we are not only working very close together, we are even sharing a building together. And you also can see that this is an old brewery because uh, in former times when you had no electricity, no cooling machines, nothing, then you build a brew house on top of a small hill and then you use the natural flow down the hill of the bird and uh, you dug a, uh, a tunnel into the mountain and had um, all these um, cellar rooms for the, for the natural cooling, chestnut trees on it, so that's why um, we still have this place. Of course, now we have electricity and everything <laughs> else, um, but we have the old, the old uh, buildings and the old uh, setup, and we're very proud of that. So You also can see here, for example, this is a small chapel, still existing from the, uh, from the monastery, and below the chapel are the cellars of the year. So. The Wein Stefana Helles, for example, is stored right below the, the no, chapel. Yeah. yeah, the legend is that St. Cobanian, when he moved over from Rome to, to Wein Stefan to settle up the monastery here, the legend says he went with a horse and a bear attacked his horse and killed his horse. And, that's, and then he tamed the bear and forced him to wear his luggage. And that's why you can find everywhere in, uh, in Freising, in the city where Wein Stefan is located, 
you find a bear in different positions, different things. So it's it's more or less now the the, the iconic animal of, of the city because of this legend that Kropenian went over. And here you can see he, he is uh, looking like a monk and, and uh, brings the, the, the beer bears. <laughs> To the mountain, and uh, all the sellers, uh, the rooms left and right, uh, all the sellers, so they are cool for the whole year. And of course, former times they had some wooden barrels inside, and afterwards, aluminium. And now we have all stainless steel, of course, for food safety. And we still have the old setup with the old mountain cooling for all our beers. This is our storage cellar for the, all the wheat beers. So we have a two tank system for all the beers. So we have a horizontal fermentation and then a vertical maturation and storage for the natural carbonization. So we do a very traditional two tank system um, to uh, force more this special taste of our wine Stefano wheat beers. And here you can see uh, the, the maturation cellar for all the wheat beers. Here you can find our filtration area. So this is, uh, we have a candle filter um, where we filter all our lager beers and our crystal wheat beer, of course. So it's a filtration system. This is the filter with a Kiesegor, or it's also um, able to filter without Kiesegor with Kiesegor alternatives. Um, then we have buffer tanks, of course, and to bring this system out of the pressure of the, uh, of the brewery, so make it more independent pressure-wise, that the system always runs constantly. Um, we also have an uh, inline CO2, O2 uh, gravity and alcohol measurement and we can uh, uh, carbonate a little bit so we have the natural carbonization but to make it uh, to make a little standard inside so we always have the same quality at the end of the day. Um, we are not blending so we don't do high gravity. Every beer has its own recipe and its own uh, uh, natural gravity and it's uh, always a single brew for every product we have. Yes, please have a look on this historical picture over there at the wall. It's showing the process of making beer and it's starting on the left side where the farmers come with the hops and the grains and then produce malt. Then they have a, uh, the job in the brew house to make the mash, to, to make the brew, the word. And then they put the beer into the uh, wooden barrels. And then you see four people that are drinking beer. Three of them are drinking. And number four, he brings the beer back to nature. Please have a look on this and go a little bit deeper inside, then you find out what I'm talking about. Okay, now we're here at the um, South Terrace of Weinstefan Hill. And um, in this direction you have a look over Munich, over the airport, in direction to the Alps. But unfortunately today we have some fog and clouds and we cannot see the mountains. And uh, if you have a sunny, nice day, you can see the whole panorama from, from east to west with all the mountains um, from Austria, uh, from Germany, and also from Switzerland. But unfortunately, not today. So we are now at the most 
historical place in Weinstefan. That is a place that um, was in the 8th century when Bishop Kobinian was here. And his job was the Christianization of the people. And he built up the first monastery there on the hill. And there's a legend that with his staff he opened a well. And the well here on top of the mountain that's a little bit ununique, but the water is still running out. It's not that much that comes out, but it's an artesian well. And um, the day, or well, the year he found it was around 750. And then in the um, middle of the 9th century, they built up this tunnel with the, with the limestones. And so that is the most, other the oldest area, or oldest part of Weinstefan that we have. Um, that's now more than 1100 years old. Bueno, estamos sirviendo este birrón tremendo que le falta muy poquitito para, para estar lista y todavía, según lo que él explicó, está turbia porque la levadura está dando vuelta. Cheers. Cheers. Amazing. Increíble, increíble cerveceros. Cómo conservaron la esencia la prolijidad, tomarla del tanque. Gracias a Fox Steiner, gracias a Tobias Solo, gracias por darnos este lujo.